Alright, welcome back to this game, you beautiful bastards. Uh, I mean, we've pretty, pretty much cleared out this, <laughs> this area. I will explore it more as we go. But, um, we will do this side quest real quick. And then story will happen also after I like sell some stuff too <coughs> Is there? hello there's a voice coming from that well <coughs> can you help me is someone down there <laughs> There. Oh, I beg your pardon. I'm here. <coughs> There's no one here but me. <coughs> Some thoughtless wretch casually tossed a bit of parchment into me and <coughs> he caught. If you could please take it. <coughs> oh. Okay. Seems to be some sort of map. Thank you. Thank you. What a relief. I hope the map serves you well. At least better than it did me. <sighs> I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm gonna look up those locations. I'm not gonna freaking prance around this goddamn map and like, mm, where is it? Where is it? Especially for videos. I ain't a treasure hunter. Well, you know what? Fuck. I'll go to my room real quick. Okay, well, in that case, just a minute. Uh, oh, oh, sorry. Sorry about the infants. <laughs> the infestation. It's got no. And then, I think we are good to like just take the offspring and sell them. Yes. Look at you, so cute. What to do next? Well, you know, I guess you earned it. Oh! Another challenge done. 86%. Wow. Landing platform. Nice. Oh, and I get a cool freaking Phantom of the Opera mask. Nito Burrito. Uh, also, if we're gonna, I fixed the wall. Also, I didn't know you can decorate the walls either, so I tried my best. Freaking uh, Unique told me about it. Really helped. Now it's, you know, now it's consistent. 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 Good God. Consistent, then we got it. Just been decorating a lot lately. Might have to redecorate because I don't want, like, oh, here's the Quidditch board. But then you look over here and there's the Quidditch board. Quidditch board again. Alrighty, we're here. Quests. What quests should we do? Mm, Imperio. Yeah, I didn't know I'm gonna get more curses. So let's speak to old Sebasti Bash. My boy, my main man, would never betray Mysterious him. Serious and a bit unsettling. 
whatsoever. You're here. Good. Hello, Sebastian. Sebastian, that relic you mentioned. I believe one of Slytherin's students stumbled upon the relic during an assignment to study sarcophagi in this catacomb. From what I read in a report by the student, they weren't permitted to take it with them, so I must assume it's still here. As I mentioned earlier, this relic grants its holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. If it's in this catacomb, I have to find it. For Anne. I need to see her. I'd be interested to know what else the student discovered. Have a look. Unfortunately, there's no name on it. But I suspect if it was important enough for Slytherin to stash in his spellbook, it's worthy of further study. I'm ready to explore the catacomb. Perhaps we can visit Anne when we've finished. Perfect. By the way, Ominous has been asking about you. You didn't tell him what we were doing, did you? I didn't. I promise. Good. Ominous would be livid if he knew what we were about to do. <clears throat> Student report. The catacomb assignment yielded more than I imagined. Learning about our ancestors was illuminating. However, I stumbled upon something else I could not ignore. In an area behind the great room which had suffered decay amid the turned over sarcophagi, I discovered an oddly shaped relic. Immediately I sensed its power. I would be thrilled to study the relic further, if only the removal of, obje of objects were allowed. I'll be interested to compare what lies inside to what I've read about this catacomb. Boy, here we go. I'm sure that foul smell is the scent of success. Try not to lose your nerve just yet. Hmm. What do you mean, lose my nerve? At least now we know we're not alone in here. Perhaps that was it. And the rest of the tomb will be insect free. Yeah, spiders are not insects. Whoa. Don't start. Good freedom. Accio. Wingardium Leviosa. Leviosa. What we got up here? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Finding a chest in an inconspicuous loft. Brilliant. We're here for a reason. I'd say opening the door is justified. What we got here? Oops, wrong one. We've read the world of another spy. I am technically looting the dead, so that's not really great. This is the sort Rebellion. of room I want to be buried in. Surrounded by grandeur. Grandeur and then some. Even an altar with a pile of bones. Accio. Bones outside a sarcophagus. Seems odd. Don't don't talk without me, okay, man? Oh, a wingwell potion. Just what I needed. What is oh come on man. You're talking without me. What did I just tell you? Hey, hey, hey. Oh. Oh. Ooh, ooh. Drop some frames there. 
Alright, sorry, I'm back. How do I Rebellion. get in here? There's something here by the altar. Hmm. Uh, I can't read it. Okay. Mm, fine, I'll read it. I foolishly mentioned the relic in my report and was reminded to leave it where it lie. Where it lay. But research must come before my fault uh, faulty to the rules. <laughs> I sense something about this relic. I was told that this, that those chosen by English oak, oak ones have powerful intuition. I believe it. Therefore, with no one, when no one was looking, I acted. I conjured two barricades to isolate the relic. Ancestors, forgive me, but I used their very bones as the key. I plan to return it to. I plan to return it, but first I must ratify. <laughs> ready myself for our next assignment: learning the Imperious Curse. The spell is said to serve well against enemies. What did you find? Accio. Oh, more bones. Uh, do I need the pulse Oh, more bones. I assume eerie sounds come with the territory. See, I don't want to progress too much. But, like, which way is the path forward? We've made it this far, but clearly we have more to do. Oh. Oh, here's where the bones go. Oh no. I need to find a safe way across. Revelio. Uh Just using the bones. Bone bridge complete. It's the freaking bones of people that we just used to walk across. And here it is, yeah. Accio. 
Ooh, skull and candles shelf. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Rebellion. Okay, sorry, Sebastian. Now I can talk to you. <laughs> My kinkles. Looks like part of a student's diary. It mentions plans to return for the relic and conjuring barricades using bones. Of course. The student's summary referenced the space beyond the Great Room, which means this can't be a dead end. Let's divide and conquer. You work on sorting out the bone barricades. I'll look around and see what we missed. Hold on to that diary entry. There may be more to it. It does mention something else. It says their next assignment was learning the Imperius Curse. Really? Interesting. We need to focus on moving beyond this room. But let me think for a moment. Do you think the pages were left here on purpose? Slytherin mentioned a student who excelled in charms and always carried a satchel stuffed full of notes. They might have been left on purpose, or the student may have simply dropped them. Of course. I'll start to search for those barricades. Brilliant. Guardian oh, on either side of this archway. Hmm. Leave no stone unturned. Or in this case, no bone. Accio! Guardian Leviosa! Do we have it? Huh? We need more bones. More. Oh, you've done it. I know it's we get through. just lovely. I felt it in my bones. Lose. Nice. <laughs> yeah, funny. Before we trudge on further, I've just realized something. The student's what? diary mentions the Imperious Curse. I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to need it here. It's an unforgivable, but useful when you're outnumbered. Places the victim completely under the caster's control. So, if you'd like to learn Imperio, I can teach you. Where did you learn the Imperio's curse? I taught myself. Don't tell Ominous that I've told you. It's not exactly something I can brag about, but it may come in handy. I think you ought to know it. Shouldn't I know more about what the curse entails? Remember the blasting curse? Same idea, except when it comes to unforgivable curses, your intention has to be clear. You have to mean it. Well, learn it. It's probably wise to teach me. Spell. I couldn't agree more. A spell that could save your life shouldn't be unforgivable. You have a lot at stake. You have an ability that evidently no one's seen for centuries. Focus your wand movement. It's not an easy spell to master. Uh, uh. Uh, second spell is my something troubling ahead. Be on your guard. Let me just equip that real quick. Come on. Mmm. Quite nice. Rebellion. Fork in the road. And a freaking spider ahead. Nope. Isn't it? 
Oh, can we just walk through this one? Hello? Take that. Take that. Revelio. Mm hmm. Bombarda. Well, what is this way? Revelio. Is this progress or is the other way progress? Well, we need bones here. Considering how well you did on the last one, this should be a cinch. How gracious of you. I try. Hmm, okay. That worked. Keep going. Oh. Incendium. We've read the world of another spider. I shall sleep better tonight. Now right, let's go this way then. We're gonna have to store it. Cannot do that. That is the true Incendium. unforgivable curse. To explore, but not really. This catacomb has suffered decay, just as the student summary described. I doubt anyone's been here in quite some time. Revelio. Okay. Is this? Huh? Incendio. Revelio. Okay. Now we are good to continue. So. For this, we would need uh, this one. And uh, this one. Revelio. Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. For this one, uh, we're getting this. It hurts to have a brain as big as mine. You are head and shoulders above these bones. Nicely done. Stop making, making those jokes, man. I see why Slytherin's student was so entranced with this place. Oh, this is a nice big wide open area. Probably no danger here. Uh oh. Uh oh. Well, this has uh, been a hell of a time. Oh, some more potions. That's Dead great. End. Lovely. All that for nothing. Hold on. Don't give up yet. Revelio. Hmm. What is this? 
Oh, okay. The relic contains abundant potential. Its possibilities could benefit not only wizard kind, but the world. But the dark sacrifice involved to release its intent may be too great. Until we know more, please do not remove this relic. Sebastian, the relic. Look. The relic. The note and rendition of the relic. It matches. This must be where the student left the relic. I can't believe it. After all this, it lines up. We've really found it. What do you suppose is meant by the dark sacrifice required to realize the relic's potential? I have no idea, but we're here for the relic. I'm willing to ignore what the journal entry says. We're taking the relic. Agreed. This is meant to be. For Anne's sake, I'm taking it. Let's get to Feldcroft. I must keep this relic secret, especially from my uncle. Is that ominous? Uh-oh. Ominous. The sounds we kept hearing. It was you. You gave me no choice. I had to follow you. Sebastian, please, leave the relic alone. We can find another way to help Anne. I'm sorry, Ominous, but I'm taking it. No, you're not. If you won't put it back, then I will. Hold on, both of you. Sebastian, please, take a step back. Fine, but Ominous knows I won't step back from a fight. Can't believe this. Oh, boy. How much did you hear? Everything. I heard you encourage Sebastian to take the relic. Sebastian's done his research. He knows what he's doing. Sebastian makes things sound easy when they could be impossible or dangerous. We need to stop him. And if nothing will change his mind? Something has to. I need your help. Mm -hmm. Sebastian's right. We need that relic. I'm sorry. My mind is made up. Are you willing to sacrifice your friendship over this? I might be. How could I choose to stand by and watch him do this? What if the choice wasn't yours? You wouldn't be to blame for what happens. What in the world are you suggesting? Imperium? Oh, no. Uh. Oh, no. Uh. Oh, God. Now that you say it out loud, it sounds absurd. But I have another idea. We allow Sebastian to leave with the relic under one condition. After this, no more. I feel that's what we agreed to in the scriptorium. I'm being taken for a fool. You're not, Ominous. This may be the only way to keep your friendship intact. Let's trust him to know what's best. Fine. If I trust him on this, I'm trusting you too. The dark arts seem harmless until it's too late. <sighs> Go then. Leave with the relic. I'll not say a word more. I hope I don't regret this. Sebastian! We're ready. What is it? I haven't changed my mind. Ominous has. Let's go. What? Ominous? I'll explain on the way. Come on. <laughs> I mean, I really don't want to use a friggin' unforgivable curse on someone you don't have to. Did I take the wrong turn at Albuquerque? Um, uh, this way. Stupid. Well, what happened back there? Ominous and I found a compromise. Ominous simply needs a moment with you and he'll change his mind. Is that it? I told him we ought to give you this chance. That the relic is too important to ignore. There has to be more to it than that. Tell me. We agreed on what was needed, Sebastian. You have my word.
<laughs> I never wanted to keep all this from Ominous. He just doesn't understand. And I did want to worry him all over again. Is this the correct way? Um. Revelio. Oh. Can't open my map. Oh god, I'll be lost in this catacomb forever. Oh yeah, no, this isn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. it's this way. Sorry, losing my marbles. <laughs> well, time to go. As we were leaving, Ominous wouldn't even acknowledge me. That's not like him. He was troubled, Sebastian. Even though we agreed to it all, it's been a lot to take in. I thought he understood. He knew we couldn't give up. All of this is too important for Anne. <laughs> Got to run all this way, come on. Oh, wrong button. I'll take these. Don't know what I would use them for, but there they are. Oh no, that's not good. Mm. So when we get to Feldcroft, I'd rather Anne not know what had to be done to get this relic. She thinks like ominous. It did only upset her. Uh, a fire. Or is that just the chimneys? Oh um, no, this isn't good. Okay, what I was it? right. Smoke, over there, by the hamlet. Feldkoff's in trouble. They're under attack. Let's hurry. Well, time to do... Still an unforgivable curse. From that damned book, no doubt. Your father would be ashamed. You've gone too far, Sebastian. Stay away from her. From all of us. What did my uncle expect me to do? The Imperious Curse saved Anne's life. 
That goblin was going to kill her. You did what you had to do. If I have to keep proving that to my uncle, I will. He cannot banish me from my own home. From my sister. It might be best to let him calm down a while. May I speak to him? Perhaps I can help to ease the tension a bit. You may be right. Very well. Probably best if I get away from here for a while. I'll head back to Hogwarts. I don't think I will be... <clears throat> I don't think I will really be able to change his mind. It's pretty set in his ways. What thinking? Pardon me, Mr. Sallow. What Sebastian did was inexcusable. You cannot possibly be about to defend him. Sebastian and I have encountered Ranrock's loyalists before. That goblin would have killed Anne. This family does not resort to using dark magic, even against our enemies. What Sebastian did cannot be undone. That you are defending Sebastian's behavior at all tells me everything I need to know. You are as guilty as he is. Sebastian is to come nowhere near Feldcroft, nowhere near Anne. Unforgivable curses are so named for a reason. If I hear that either of you continues down this path, if either of you uses dark magic, I will notify the headmaster immediately. Why, Sebastian? Well, I do not go as planned. Just take all this for myself. Hello, goat. <sighs> Another episode down. And the further down the dark path we go. But it has to be done, it must be done. But. As I reflect upon my choices, you can reflect upon this episode, you beautiful bastards. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. Say bye, go. Say, say, say. Where, where are you going? Where are you going? Ah, fine. Bye. Bye bye.